Hi friends, good evening and welcome back to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends here in this video we can see previous year questions, also important questions for staff nurse exam preparation. This questions will helpful for your coming exam preparation. We can see the question. First question, lifespan of platelet is options option a 1 to 3 days option b 8 to 12 days option c 15 to 21 days option d 80 to 120 days lifespan of platelet is the average lifespan is about 8 to 14 days here 8 to 12 days is there so that is the correct answer 8 to 12 days option b is the correct answer the average lifespan of rbc is 120 days okay and the next question, movements of body parts away from the midline is called options. Option A, adduction. Option B, flexion. Option C, abduction. Option D, extension. Movement of the body parts away from the midline is called abduction. Option C is the correct answer. Abduction. First option, adduction. Adduction means movement towards the midline of the body. Then flexion means it's a bending movement. Extension means it's a straightening of the hand or straightening of the body parts. That is extension. Extension, flexion, adduction and abduction. And the next question. A 6 years old child admitted with nephrotic syndrome. Which of the significant nursing intervention should be done daily by a nurse? Options. Option A. Check temperature. Checking temperature. Option B. Measuring mid-arm circumference. Option C. Checking capillary refill. Option D. Monitoring intake and output. Here, the child is diagnosed with nephrotic syndrome. So, the nurse is caring for that nephrotic syndrome child. And which is the planning she should do daily for this child? Okay. Nephrotic syndrome is a kidney disorder characterized by proteinuria massive proteinuria hypoalbuminemia and edema this is the classical manifestation of nephrotic syndrome in nephrotic syndrome patient we have to make some intervention daily intervention especially we have to check the intake and output chart of the child also we have to check daily weight also we have to monitor vital signs then specific gravity of the urine and also monitor for edema we have to monitor the nutritional status also we have to check some nutritional advice we can give like uh, for example a regular diet without adding salt we can advice to the mother and also the fluid restriction we can tell to the mother the sodium salt salt contains sodium sodium is restricted because the child is having edema so we have to restrict sodium and the next question acute glomerulonephritis is most often occurs by options option a staphylococcus option b streptococci option c salmonella option d pneumococci the causative organism of acute glomerulonephritis is option b streptococci glomerulonephritis is caused by group a beta hemolytic streptococci here option streptococci is there so that is the correct answer option b and the next question a nurse is assigned to care for a child suspected to have glomerulonephritis the nurse reviews the child record and note that which finding is associated with the diagnosis of glomerulonephritis options option a hypertension option b brown colored urine option c low urinary specific gravity option d low blood urea nitrogen here a nurse is caring for a child with glomerular nephritis okay and while seeing the patient record she should understand that it is a glomerular nephritis so what signs and symptoms she noticed in the patient file or the child's record. Here, glomerular nephritis means it's a group of kidney disorder characterized by inflammatory injury in the glomerulus. And it is characterized by gross hematuria resulting in dark, smoky, cola colored or brown colored urine is the classical symptom of glomerular nephritis. So, here our answer will come option B, brown colored urine. Color of the urine become dark, smoky, cola colored or brown color. 
here brown color is there so that is the correct answer first option hypotension usually hypertension will be occurs in patient and also urinary specific gravity will be little elevated and also high blood urea nitrogen will be seen in case of glomerular nephritis and the next question mission indradhanush program is related to option option a immunization option b breastfeeding option c female education option d nutritional supplementation mission indradhanush program is related to immunization option a is the correct answer sir. mission indradhanush program was started in 25 12 2014 it's mainly focused on immunization or vaccination and this indicate seven colors okay and this seven colors represent seven killer diseases that is measles diphtheria pertussis tetanus polio tuberculosis and hepatitis b and the next question which vaccine stored at freezer compartment options option a opv option b mmr option c bcg option d all of this is the vaccine which is stored at freezer compartment is opv oral polio vaccine and this vaccine should be stored at minus 20 degree celsius in a deep freezer And the next question: Islets of Langer hands are rich in which part of pancreas? Option: Option A, neck. Option B, body. Option C, head. Option D, tail. Islets of Langer hands are clusters of hormone-producing endocrine cells, which is present at the tail part of the pancreas. Option D is the correct answer. Sir. Islets of Langer hands consist of three main type of cells beta cells alpha cells and delta cells beta cells secrete insulin alpha cells secrete glucagon and delta cells secrete somatostatin and gastrin and the next question nrhm was started in option option a first november 2004 option b 12th april 2005 option c first december 2005 option d first april 2005 national rural health mission was started in 12th april 2005 option b is the correct answer and the next question to avoid pulling the urinary catheter nurse should tap the catheter on the patient's option a lower thigh option b upper thigh option c foot option d hind leg and the correct answer is you uh, should tap the catheter on the patient upper thigh option b is the correct answer friends here we discuss some of the previous year questions and important questions for exam preparation if it is useful for your studies please subscribe my channel and share my videos to your friend circle Thank you for watching my video.